Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, then that means that you must have picked the spooky wreath for your trash panda treasure box. So we're going to start out with our square of black paper, and I'm going to show you how to do the spider web. So we're going to fold top corner to bottom corner, and then left corner over to right corner. And then we are going to fold in half again. So you're going to be left with um, kind of a, a, tri a big triangle. And you want to make that outside fold be on the right side. And you want to tip it so it looks like an ice cream cone. And then you want to even out the top. So it definitely looks like the cone of an ice cream cone. So I'm just going to cut from that right hand side straight across. Okay. Once you have that, we're going to grab one of those uh, pens that will write on the black paper. And we're just going to sketch out kind of a spider web shape. So at the top, find the middle, and then you're going to kind of do a, a W shape. So one lump and two lumps kind of coming down from the top. And then you want to make those be sort of the lines in your spider web. And these will be connected by another set going straight down. So W lines straight lines going down in the middle. You'll see because it'll start to look like a spider web. And these are the lines we're going to cut on. So that's why they need to be somewhat thick so that it'll actually leave paper that won't be so fragile it'll tear for our spider web. And you're going to go all the way down to the tip of that ice cream cone shape. And then once you have that, should look something like this. We're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut on those lines. I'm gonna start at the top. Once you've got one side done, it should look a little bit like this. I like to do all of the ones that are kind of curvy and then go back and cut the straight lines. And when you have finished and open it up, it should look very much like a spider web. And this one may be a little bit too big for our purposes. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to slim that down. Put the wreath on it where you want. It doesn't have to be centered, but I am going to center mine. And then I'm going to cut off that outside edge, but I'm going to leave the little things that point out because that's what I'm going to use to glue it in place. Then you can use your brush and your glue. And those little points on the outside should be just long enough to almost wrap around the wooden shape of our wreath. So I'm going to pull that up and just hold it in place for a little bit until it glues. It shouldn't take too long. It's just construction paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. So here is the, the final one. I kind of cut out the middle. And then I'm going to turn the whole thing over and you can see what it looks like. And then you'll be able to cut leaves and flowers and use those owls and moons and bats and decorate the rest of it however you want. If the paper tears for your spider web, you can patch it on the back side. Um, so right here, I'm just taking another piece of paper and I'm gluing it all along where my two pieces tore to kind of strengthen that. And you can do that with the spider web. You can do it if you make spiders. Whatever you want to put on there. It's a pretty forgiving craft. So that's how the spider web should look. And then you can just add anything else to the rest.